Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Physics and Animation. Till now we have studied about eddy current. So now we know that eddy current have two basic properties. One is heating and another one is opposing. In the last video we have already discussed application of eddy current in induction furnace. Today in this video we will talk about opposing property of eddy current in which first we will understand how eddy current produces damping effect and then we'll discuss application of eddy current in braking system. Application of the opposing property of eddy current. The opposing property of eddy current is used for damping and can also produce braking in automotive and other devices. To understand damping produced by eddy current, let's take a metallic plate connected to a string. A string is pivoted from one end and allowed to oscillate freely about its mean position. Now let's create a magnetic field directed from north to south in the path of an oscillating metallic plate. As it is visible in the animation, when a metallic plate passes from the magnetic field lines, plate loses its momentum and stops oscillating after some time. This type of reduction in oscillation after some time is called damping. Ok, now let's again oscillate the metallic plate and observe it closely to understand the reason of damping. So when a metallic plate enters a magnetic field, magnetic flux links to plate surface changes. Hence according to Lenz's law, to oppose this change of magnetic flux, Eddy current starts flowing anti-clockwise on the surface facing the north pole and acts like a north pole to repel and oppose the motion of a plate. While eddy current flows in a clockwise direction on the surface of the plate facing toward the south pole and acts like a south pole to repel or oppose the entry of the plate into the magnetic field. Okay. Now when the metallic plate moves ahead to exit the magnetic field, magnetic flux linking to a plate starts decreasing or changing. Hence, to oppose the plate from leaving magnetic field lines, the eddy current starts flowing in a clockwise direction to act like a south pole on the surface facing the north pole and create the force of attraction to oppose the outward motion of a plate. Similarly, the eddy current flows in an anti-clockwise direction to create north pole on the plate surface facing the south pole to develop force of attraction which tries to pull it back into the magnetic field lines. In this way, force of opposition acts on both faces of the plate whenever it leaves or enters the magnetic field lines. Such opposition keeps acting on an oscillating plate and forces it to stop. This type of reduction in oscillation over some time is called damping. To reduce such damping, we need to reduce the strength of the eddy current. For that, slots can be used. Air between these slots acts as a barrier to the eddy current. Now eddy current flows in the smaller loops instead of larger loop. As eddy current is directly proportional to area of the loop due to this, the strength of the eddy current reduces. Now this time, plate can oscillate for a longer duration than previous. Please note that we can minimize eddy current losses but cannot eliminate it completely. At last, now we are ready to understand that how eddy current helps to achieve efficient braking in automotive. To understand it, Let's take a basic electromagnet arrangement which consists of a soft iron core and a coil winded over it. Between this electromagnet, rotating metallic disc is placed. Now, current is allowed to flow through the coil. Therefore, due to electromagnetism, iron core becomes an electromagnet and develops magnetic field lines passing through the surface of a metallic disc directed from north pole to south pole. Due to the rotation of the metallic disc, the magnetic flux passing through the surface changes 
which induces an eddy current in a rotating disc to oppose the rotating motion of the disc okay now let's take a closer look to understand the direction of eddy current inducing in a metallic disc when we observe it from front we find that right side of a metallic disc facing south pole is leaving the zone of the magnetic field lines now the direction of eddy current induced in a disc will be anti clockwise to act like a north pole and develop the force of attraction in this way the eddy current opposes the motion of a disc leaving zone of magnetic field lines due to which a change of magnetic flux on a disc is taking place this direction of eddy current is only in the half part at the right side of a metallic disc now let's move to the back side from where part of the metallic disc is entering into the zone of the magnetic field lines when we observe it from the other side of a south pole we find that again surface of a metallic disc is facing south pole but this time the metallic disc is entering into the effective zone of the magnetic field lines therefore from this side magnetic flux linking to a plate is increasing now the direction of eddy current induced in a disc will be clockwise so that it could create a south pole and develop the force of repulsion to oppose the motion of a disc entering into the effective zone of the magnetic field lines a similar thing happens on the opposite face of a disc which induces eddy current to develop the force of opposition In this way the combined effect of all the eddy current induced opposes the rotating motion of a disc and forces disc to stop rotating that is how eddy current help us to get effective non contact braking thanks for watching friends if this video really helped you please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever we upload a new video Thank you.